My name is Kef Kasdan. I'm a general partner at Patel Ventures. Uh, we invest in early stage companies in the clean tech, life sciences, and security sectors. Um, we are a $220 million fund. Uh, in addition to that, I am CEO of Proterra, which is one of the Battelle Ventures portfolio companies. Proterra is developing a fermentation-ready sucrose feedstock for development further into biofuels and chemicals. I'm hearing lots of uh, great things about that, so t tell us more. Great, sure, I, I, I'd really love to. Um, so the problem today with um, uh, development of biofuels is the approaches all start with sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water but there's a need to grow up um, a, a, a crop and then have to cut it down, move it, and break it back down into simple sugars. And our vision was, is there a way to directly make a sugar that can then be f further processed rather than going through all those additional steps? Um, we have a cyanobacteria, which is a type of uh, photosynthetic microorganism that naturally makes sucrose. And we have taken that and we have genetically engineered it so that we can control how it makes the sucrose and it can make it very productively and actually secrete it. Um, so we can make a continuous amount of fermentation ready sugar uh, and we are working to um, develop that further and work with um, uh, biofuels manufacturers to take that out to the market. Um, how much impact can that, can that have and, uh, and where can this be applied around the world? Great. So um, the, the problem today is if you use these other forms of sugar, sugar is a very volatile commodity. It's also a food. Um, and that means that it's difficult to keep those costs under control. And so it's difficult to actually make biofuels that are economical. Our approach is a much cheaper approach to making sugar, significantly lower cost than Brazilian sugar cane, which is the next lowest cost sugar. And so therefore, it can really expand the market for biofuels by providing an economical feedstock. So this can be used in many places around the world. One of my sayings is uh, you can get to cheap sugar without needing to learn Portuguese, uh, which is what other, a lot of companies are having to do today because Brazil is, is the source of sugar. So we would provide a way to pr produce this sugar in many geographies around the world um, and, and do it in an economical fashion. So is this kind of second, even third generation from the corn ethanol that we started with as biofuel? Um, yes. Yeah, so it, it, it actually would, um, it's essentially um, just good, it's not all the way to a fuel, we just make the sugar. Um, so it would be a substitute or a, an alternative to using corn or sugar cane or sugar derived from uh, energy crops like uh, switchgrass. Um, so it would be an alternative to corn or to, to sugar cane at a lower cost, uh, but it can then leverage the existing infrastructure for converting sugar into fuel, which is either ethanol or a lot of the companies that are um, feeding sugar to some kind of a microbe that then makes a, a fuel. Um, Several of those companies have recently gone public, are, are trading at very, uh, very good valuations, and we can enable their future direction. Are you interested in China, and if so, in what ways? Um, so we see China as definitely a very big market um, for, um, for our sugar and for, again, the downstream processes of fuels. We also believe that China could be a place where we could uh, manufacture our, our bioreactor solution more, more cheaply. I haven't really talked about the bioreactor, but we have an innovative approach to that as well. Um, most people today grow these kinds of photosynthetic organisms in a lot of water. Um, and the problem is it's difficult to get sunlight, carbon dioxide, uh, in, in, to the organisms in an efficient way, and they, they also use too much water. Um, water usage is a big problem around the world. Um, so our solution is uh, what we call a solid phase photobioreactor. It uses a material that we grow the organisms on, it uses much less water, and those, those organisms can then directly interact with sunlight and, and carbon dioxide. Um, but this is something that would then need to be manufactured in this uh, um, inexpensive a way as possible and we make lots of them. So basically the idea is this is a modular reactor uh, with a fabric and a, and a plastic enclosure. We believe this is something that um, the Chinese manufacturers can, can make very cheaply. So yes, we are looking at that opportunity. Thank you very much, Kev. Great.